Hi everyone, this is Nancy with Gifts HQ and I wanted to just put together a quick video on pulling together a little decor for the upcoming holidays using words. I went to my local Dollar Tree store and I'm sure you've all seen these around and I decided to use the word thankful. And this word bears special meaning to me because I'm truly thankful for everyone in my life. I am surrounded by some truly amazing people that support me and help me become the best I can be. And that includes you folks out there. And I am thankful for you all subscribing and showing your support. Your comments really mean a lot to me and I love interacting with every one of you. So this video is dedicated to all of you. But I secretly have a big thing I'm thankful for because we just hit 100 subscribers. I can't believe it. Yes, I'm so thankful. I know it may not seem a lot to some people, but it really means a lot to me. It makes me feel great knowing that I can share things with people all over the world and we can create things together. I love to inspire and create an environment that you can walk into and relax and just enjoy yourself. So thank you everyone for making this possible and for giving me your support. Now, let's get started on putting together our decor. These are the items that I use for my project. Decorative napkins, Mod Podge and a paintbrush, iron, sandpaper, and scissors. Now I'm gonna take my napkin, which is a three ply, and pull away the two layers, which will leave me with only the decorative layer. So when you purchase your napkins, you'll wanna make sure that you read to see how many plies are included in your napkin. So let's just open this up here. And you can see that there are three layers on here. And I'm going to pull away the two layers that would leave me with the one that only has the decoration on it. And you'll want to be really careful not to rip it. So just take your time. Great. Okay. So let me just pull this to the side. Now I'm going to take my thankful sign and what I'm going to do is apply a thin coat of Mod Podge on top and then we'll be applying the napkin on top of that. And I'll be using the iron to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. So just apply it on top. Now I'm taking my Mod Podge straight out of the bottle. You can also just put it in a little cup if you'd like, but no need. Now let me just move these over. Mine has a little bit of a string, which I can then hang later on. Make sure you get the edges really well. Okay. So now we're just ready to apply the paper napkin. Now I'm going to try to apply one napkin of for the whole word, but if it doesn't fit, you can also use another napkin. And I will just gently pat it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron and just go ahead and iron on top. And if you're scared of just ironing right on it, you can also just take another piece of napkin and just iron it that way. Okay, there you have it. So after waiting about 10 minutes or so, I'm ready to go ahead and cut the excess off. So I will grab my scissors and just cut around the word. I'm just going to try to get as close as I can to the letters, but not too much of a big deal. 
just going to make it a little bit easier for me. So this is what it looks like right now. You still you have all this paper that we need to get rid of and that's where you just grab your sandpaper and I'm just going to sand off all the edges and all around the word just so that you can start seeing just the letters pop out. So let's start that on one end here and we'll work our way around. So this can get a little messy, so you just want to have something underneath to capture everything as it falls down. Now I just use this little sandpaper because I want to get inside the letters just to be able to get in there and sand them out doesn't really take much effort. Pretty much comes right off since it's just paper. There you have it. It's a cute word sign that you can add to any decor. I really love the way it came out, but I decided to add a little extra. So I'll make this cute little table decor by adding a thin piece of wood and maybe some flower pieces that I have in my stash. Hmm. I just got to paint the wood, maybe hot glue the word over to it. I'll let you know how it comes out. <laughs> but this is a quick and simple decor that you can do for the upcoming holidays. All right, you gifted crafters, you know what to do. Upload those pictures to social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're comfortable with, and tag me or send me the link. And I might showcase this in one of my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm truly, truly thankful for all of you out there. I appreciate you spending your time with me, and I hope you have a very peaceful and enjoyable holiday. If you like my video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to join our community, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of my future videos. Thanks again, everyone. I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye.